Okay, this is a motorcycle helmet. Why did I bring a motorcycle helmet to talk about my project? Uh, Sovereign Debt it's a, it can be a powerful and useful tool. Sovereign Debt helps you financing investment that can help a country grow. It can also help smoothing temporary fluctuation of income so that uh, people don't have to reduce their consumption too much when they're hit by bad economic shocks. But like how all uh, powerful tools, that can also be uh, a risky tool. So a good analogy is a motorcycle. A motorcycle can help you moving through a crowded city much faster than by car or any other mean of transportation. But it's also more dangerous than walking or taking the car or taking the bus. And a helmet can help reducing this risk. So there are ways to reduce the risk associated to debt. We know that many debt crises are associated with short-term debt. They are associated with foreign currency debt. They are associated with debt which is not contingent, that is, that does not vary with a country's ability to pay. And the question that we ask in our project is, number one, why we observe this unsafe debt structure? Why do we observe a lot of foreign currency debt? Why do we observe a lot of short-term debt? And why we observe basically no contingent debt? So we would like to understand that what are the economic, political and uh, legal reasons for the debt structure that we observe. And then we're going to try to understand what it can be done to address uh, the obstacles towards uh, a safer debt structure, uh, because with a safer debt structure countries will be able to borrow and finance investment, but reduce uh, the risk of uh, having devastating debt crisis, which have uh, massive effects on poverty and on the well-being uh, of people.